solve the equations below. So as you have noticed, this, there's a lot going on in this equation. Um, I see multiple minus signs and negative signs. And so we are going to uh, apply uh, PEMDAS. We are going to undo PEMDAS this, uh, for this because our goal is to be able to isolate the variable x at the end. So that is our goal. So, so again, we are going to undo PEMDAS. And how do we do that? Instead of writing or uh, starting from uh, left to right, we are going to start from right to left. So meaning we are going to handle um, addition and subtraction first. Okay, so um, I am looking at negative 6. So negative 6, so inverse of negative 6 is positive. So I would do plus 6 and plus 6. That will leave us with negative 10 log of negative 4x minus 5 with base 5 equals negative 40. Now, again, our goal is to isolate x. We have a coefficient that is negative 10. We want to get rid of this negative 10 right here, and we can do that by dividing negative 10 on both sides. Inverse of multiplication is division. So that would leave us with log of negative 4x minus 5 with base 5 equals 4. Okay, so we can get rid of log by changing this ex equation into exponential form. So we will have our base 5, okay, base 5 to the power 4. Remember how we change, rewrite exponential, uh, I mean logarithmic form into exponential. We take our base, take that number 4, okay, um, equals negative 4 x minus 5. Okay, so uh, 5 to the power 4 is 625 equals negative 4x minus 5. Okay, inverse of negative 5 is plus 5. All right, we are left with negative 4x equals 630. Divide both sides by negative 4. And so this will give us um, an answer, which is x equals negative third, 315 divided by 2. There's our answer. All right. Well, let's try um, solving another equation. And that equation right here for number 2. Okay, so... Again, we are going to undo PEMDAS. Okay. We are going to start from right to left. So meaning we are going to start with addition and subtraction first. However, um, oh yeah, we have here a positive, positive 6. So we want to get rid of that positive 6 in, um, by, doing sub by subtracting 6 on both sides. So that would leave us with 7 log of 10 minus 6n with base 4 equals negative 7. Okay, we do have a coefficient and the coefficient is 7. We want to get rid of this 7 by dividing both sides by 7 and so that will leave us with log of 10 minus 6n with base 4 equals negative 1. Okay, we cannot get to our the numbers that are inside the um, parentheses unless we get rid of the log. So we are going to change this into exponential form. So we will have 4 to the power negative 1 
equals 10 minus 6n. Okay, 4 uh, to the power negative 1, um, this right here on the side, I am going to show how we are going to change this. So remember, um, 4 to the power negative 1 is the same as negative 4 uh, to the, oh wait, hold on. That's positive 4 to the power negative 1 over 1 over 1. Now, to make the exponent positive, we are going to switch or flip our numerator and denominator. In that way, we are able to change the exponent into positive, and so this will turn out to be 1 over 4 to the power 1. So, um, our 4 to the power negative 1 will turn out to be a 1 fourth. So that is how this will change into 1 fourth. We drop down our uh, the uh, right side of the equation, which is 10 over 6n. And so, however, the left side of the equation is a fraction. So we want to make this uh, right-hand side as a fraction by writing over 1. And now we are going to cross multiply because we are dealing with a ratio so cross multiply so we'll have 4 times 10 minus 6 n on the right side will just be 1 times 1 1 times 1 so which is 1 we distribute 4 distribute 4 so that would give us 40 minus 24n equals 1, and um, isolating n, we will come up with um, negative 24n equals negative 40 plus 1. Okay. Dividing both sides by negative uh, 24, oh, well, let's simplify that first. So negative 39, and now we can divide with negative 24. So n is equal to 13 over 8 as we simplify our answer to the smallest possible fraction. Here's our answer.